The 2018 Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA trade show in Phoenix was a huge success, with thousands of beef producers and industry stakeholders on hand to enjoy a mix of business, networking, and fun. Besides a lot of sun, the Phoenix area also had a lot to see and do. Russell Nemitz brings us a closer look at a museum that features some great Western art. Well, Phoenix, Arizona is indeed very excited to host the 2018 Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA Trade Show. And of course, there's always a ton to do and see at the convention itself, but Phoenix itself has a lot to see and do as well, and a must-see if you're coming to this year's Cattle Industry Convention is the Western Spirit Scottsdale's Museum of the West in Scottsdale, Old Scottsdale to be more specific, and with us on the segment today is their museum director and CEO, Mike Fox, and holy cow, Mike, I mean, seriously, if you have a passion for the Old West or Western art, this is the place to come and see. Well, this, we hope will be indeed the destination for your members and we will welcome them and really look forward to their experience here. You know, walk us through the museum here in Old Scottsdale because there truly is something to see and do for everyone of all ages. We just happen to be standing in this particular gallery, 1,400 plus pieces of authentic cowboy and old western gear. Indeed, this is an extraordinary collection probably one for which you will see more spurs and, and uh, bits and bridles and any other institution for which might have some special collections themselves. This is an extraordinary collection, historic saddles, and uh, just a whole story about uh, the cowboy of the American West. And it's a collection that was amassed by one individual over a course of about 40 years. So we have the privilege to be able to present it to the public and have them experience it in some very special manner. And of course the Old West has a rich history of uh, basically lawmen and those outlaws and part of this gallery uh, showcases that part of American history. Indeed it does, lawmen and, and, uh, and also prisoners, uh, those uh, wonderful items which they made with uh, horsehair in the prisons and uh, the rodeo and uh, the Western uh, films and so forth. So we, we have a wonderful collection that, uh, as you mentioned, includes about 1,400 works in this particular gallery. Of course, this is one of seven galleries. So this is just the tip of the iceberg of what uh, the visitor might be uh, experiencing when they're here. You know, absolutely. Uh, you mentioned it. There's several different galleries here at the uh, Western Spirit, Scottsdale's Museum of the West. And for those Western art enthusiasts, when you go upstairs, you're going to see some magnificent pieces uh, from all sorts of artists, uh, two notables, Frederick Remington and C.M. Russell. Indeed. Those are really quite extraordinary artists, as we all know, and the works which we have are, are just uh, stupendous. Um, and the beauty of what is upstairs is the story of the American. American West, historic to contemporary, and, and certainly the cattlemen is well represented in so much of the storytelling about the West. So, so many of the paintings and sculptures which we have deal with what the cattlemen deals with in their own life way to this day. And so I think it will resonate very much with, uh, with your attendees. Yeah, and what would the Old West and history be without a collection recognizing and celebrating Native Americans, too? And they're going to see that here at this museum. They will indeed. We will have a major exhibition of Hopi uh, pottery that will be on display, and it is now a gift to this institution. And it truly is the finest collection representative of seven centuries of Hopi creations. So that would be one example of, of a number of other wonderful Native American art that is on display throughout this uh, institution. Well, I absolutely love this museum, and uh, we could seriously go on for hours. Uh, a couple of other things that really caught my eye during our tour here in Old Scottsdale. I'm an old uh, Western movie buff, oh, those old spaghetti Westerns. For others like me, talk about the old Western movie poster collection here at this museum. Well, we are so fortunate, along with Arizona State University, to have acquired a collection, the single largest collection of Western posters, going back to the late 1800s to the present, actually. And we have uh, a collection of about 5,000 of them. We have a really significant exhibition that uh, really celebrates the contribution of, of the Western film and what has caused for people all over the globe to better appreciate our American West through the Western films. 
You know, I just want to wrap up talking about the building itself. I mean, the museum is relatively new. It was built in 2015, as I understand. It's quite a, a magnificent piece of architectural uh, magnificence in itself. I mean, talk us through the building because one of the new buzzwords in agriculture is sustainable, sustainability, and this building does all of that and more. It, it is an institution that uh, really helps to bridge the Old West with the New West, and so the architecture architects have met that challenge and have, with the selection of materials, with the design of this building, have helped to, to um, see that we indeed are meeting that uh, objective of ours of wanting to connect the Old West with the New West and also looking to the future. There are numerous ways for which this building really speaks to uh, our sensitivity and responsibility to the American West. Well, we certainly thank you for giving us a little bit of your time to describe uh, the awesomeness here at the Western Spirit Scottsdale's Museum of the West uh, facility and all that's included uh, here at this particular facility. Again, we've been visiting with Mike Fox, the museum director and CEO. And Kevin, this place is just one of the many things to do if folks are making plans like they should be to join us here in the Phoenix area for the 2018 Cattle Industry Convention and in CBA Trade Show. With that, we'll go ahead and send it back to you.